Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I have a really exciting unboxing to do with you guys. I have been waiting for this to come in. I actually placed an order with Luna at Lucifer Veronestis because I have, as you guys know, I have I have a lot of jewelry from, from Luna and it's mainly rings, as you guys know. And I have a few pairs of earrings now. I have that beautiful bracelet. Actually, it's right here. I have this beautiful large link bracelet, which I love, but I don't have any necklaces. And come the warmer months, I usually wear like button down shirts like this with nothing over it because sometimes I'll put like a sweater over it or whatever. Anyway, I like to wear more bracelets and necklaces. You guys know I love my chains in the warmer months. And I'm like, how is this possible? I don't have a necklace from Luna. So we kind of went back and forth. And when I was in Milan last year and visited her studio, she had shown me some of these beautiful chains that she had. And they were more in um, like an antique looking gold, which was really cool. But I thought, you know, I think I want something in rose gold. I love her version of rose gold so much. And uh, most of my jewelry from her is in rose gold. So I was like, let's just continue down that path. And if I want more chains, which I'm sure I will, uh, maybe I'll branch out into that more antique looking gold that she had in her studio. But anyway, I thought I'd open it up with you guys. I took all the wrapping off because you know, it's shipped internationally. So there's all this wrapping. So I was like, let me, let me spare you guys from all of that. But here is the box. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's take a look together. Oh, okay. Here it is. Is this not gorgeous now? Let me take a close look here. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, and I'm gonna hold it up in the box because in the box you probably see it most clearly, but every link is handmade. As you guys know, Luna doesn't buy any fixtures or fixings, I think they're called in jewelry, like clasps, chains, nothing like that, everything. Every single piece is designed by her. So all of these links are slightly different. And so it looks a little imperfect. I mean, how exquisite is that? And so she asked, did you want a pendant? And since we both love pearls so much, I said, I would love a Baroque pearl, but on basically like a pendant that's removable. I didn't know how large um, her clasp at the end would be. Sometimes you can't take off the pendant, but this one is removable. Let me see. Oh yeah. I see the clasp there. Okay. Let me take it out of the box and then I can show you how this is removed. So can you see that little clasp at the top there? Ooh. Okay. So it just pops up and oh, I love it. That's so cool. So I can wear the chain by itself or I can wear it with the pearl, obviously. I love how like antiqued even the clasp looks. Look how cool that is. Oh my gosh. And then there's her stamped gold there. Of course, I think I wanna wear it with the pearl. And I do have like matching earrings to this. Hold on. Oh my God, I'm like all flustered. This is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. There's nothing, there's absolutely nothing better than getting your Lucifer Veronestis jewelry <laughs> in the mail. Okay. There it is. So it's an 18 inch length chain. Yeah, I think I wanna get like a 22 or maybe a 20, maybe a 22. Oh, and just start stacking up the chain. <laughs> You can never have enough Lucifer Veronestis. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? Let me put on my matching earrings. So here are the pearl drop earrings that I have. I usually reserve these for special occasions, but I feel like I'm gonna be wearing these more now that I have this piece. I have to say, I feel quite special with these pieces on. Oh, Luna, these are so beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your talents with us. Oh my goodness. Just stunning, just stunning. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. I think it's a little bit much for just hanging out at home, but I'm leaving this chain on, that's for sure. All right, well, that is one thing that I purchased that came in. Wow, everything's just gonna pale in comparison, isn't it? But I did actually place an order 
on J. Crew, and it came in. I just opened up the bag. Here's the packaging. I really wanted cotton woven pajamas. As you guys know, I love my Everj pajamas, both the washable silk and that jersey uh, fabric, that kind of like knit jersey. So, so comfortable. And then I have a bunch of like silk pajamas from Lily Silk. I ordered uh, those fun ones from Amazon. Anyway, I really wanted just like cotton pajamas. It was hard to find a pair that I really, really liked. Usually they're men's pajamas or they came in like a an interesting print, shall we say. But I just wanted like classic pajamas. And on J. Crew, they had a set. So here is the top. This is what I'm talking about. Just a real classic pair of jammies. And here are the pants. I need to try them on. So let me let me do that now. Okay, first of all, I love that it has a breast pocket because I can clip my microphone there. And it's pretty baggy. The pants have pockets, so great. It's like a full on outfit. I think the pants fit me bigger than the top. That's very unusual. Hold on. Did I buy these separately or was it a set? Long sleeve sleep, large. Okay, so the top is large and then maybe it is a set. Yeah, because I only have one bag. Yeah, I only have one bag. Okay, because I do like the fit of the top, but the pants are a little bit, uh, so they're long too. Can you guys see how long they are? And the reason why I was looking for something like this, like this material, again, as much as I love those Eberj pajamas, and they'll definitely still be in the rotation, they have that kind of slinky knit material to them, let me actually pull them out so you know what I'm talking about, but they were the pajamas that I wore all throughout Mishmas. It's these guys, right? Super comfortable, super duper comfortable. Because they're kind of slinky, they're kind of clingy, and I don't always necessarily, I mean, I don't know if this is me being too like prudish, but I don't necessarily like to always vlog in these pajamas um, or just walk around like if I have guests or whatever, just like walk around with this like clingy, uh, clingy pajamas on, even though they're loose, they're still, they're clingy, they're that material. Anyway, um, and I do happen to like just plain old cotton. It's just some of my favorite material to sleep in. So anyway, I like this. I like these jammies from J. Crew. Cute. And then I did get one other thing from J. Crew. They have all of these uh, like lady jacket style tops. This one actually happens to be knit. This is a, a sweater. So let me show you the back. So it's like marled and it's a knit. Oh, I guess it's just a garter stitch. For my knitters out there, this is a, a garter stitch. You can't even see it because of the marled yarn. Anyway, I thought that was really cute. And this could be like a cute uh, transition piece where maybe a little bit too warm at the height of summer here, but perfect as the weather is getting warmer. So these are snaps, by the way, not buttons, which is really handy. Um, all right, let me try this guy on. Wow, I'm just in luck. Everything has a little breast pocket for my microphone. Okay, this is the size large. I'm glad I got the large. It is really cropped. I put my other pajama pants back on. I wonder if this is too boobalicious. You guys know I'm, I'm not a boobalicious kind of gal. I don't really like emphasizing the breast. It's kind of cute. I could wear it with, <laughs> just about to put my hands in my pockets that don't exist. I think I could wear this very easily with black pants and I think it would look nice. I think maybe if I'm gonna go online and check to see if there's a medium in the pajamas, I may, I may return this. I'm not sure if this is for me. I think it's the knit that's throwing me off a little bit. I think I would have preferred if it was a woven, then it wouldn't be as like clingy. So that's what I got at J. Crew, And then I placed an order at Lululemon because some of my tights are a little, they're getting a little baggy in the knees. I'm happy to report. Uh, so let me find a box cutter, open this up and we'll try on what I already forget what I got. I think I got some leggings and some t-shirts, maybe some zip ups. Let's see. Okay, I got six things. Oh, and one thing they canceled because I guess I ordered something that just went out of stock. Oh, well. all right, I got one t-shirt. Yes, this is the right style. I can never remember all of their different style names, but I have a bunch of these t-shirts. They have a center seam up the back and I just love them. They're just like a basic 
kind of baggy, straight cut, nothing too slim or fitted, uh, like t-shirt. And the ones that I have, which are right here, I cut the, ta uh, the tags out, <laughs> but I think I had size 12s, and so I ordered a size 10. So let's try that on. And then I did also get some tights. These are the Wonder Train high rise tight, 25 inch with pockets. And I got this color, which is like a taupey khaki color. And the tights that I had were size 12 and they were just baggy. So I thought, let me try eights. I don't know, maybe I overshot. Maybe I should have gotten tens, but let's see. So I'm trying to find the color name for this because I just thought the color was so cool. I think the color is Nomad. Anyway, I'll link to everything down below and there probably isn't a color even similar to this. So, all right, let me try this on with the t-shirt. Okay, wow, these eights are snug. <laughs> They're really snug. Can you guys see? They're like, they're, well, they're stretchy, so how can you tell? But they're like, they're like real, like I am in here. I am in here. I'm glad these are high rise. Otherwise my gut would just be hanging over the waistband. Um, but I do, I do like them and they do have the necessary side pocket here. Yeah. It's funny. I get the 25 inch, which I think is considered cropped, but that's the length that I get from, for like a full... <laughs> for full tights. I think their full tights are like 30 inches or whatever. Anyway, I really like this color. I'm usually just in all black at the gym because I can't be bothered. I see those, I see those women at the gym who have like coordinating outfits and like sneakers that match their outfit. I'm like, I cannot, <laughs> it's like too much work for the gym. Um, actually my friend Marie, the one who referred me to my trainer, she's like, she's got all these different outfits. Sometimes like, yeah, she'll have like socks that match. Sometimes she'll bring like a little bum bag that matches. I'm like, that's, wow, I, my hat is off to you. So this is all good. And then I got a soft stream high rise straight leg crop 24 inch size 10. Oh, these aren't leggings. Okay, let me, let me open these up. I see. Our peach fuzz soft four-way stretch and quick drying soft stream fabric feels smooth next to skin and has a weighty drape. Water drops can easily mark this fabric. A simple machine wash will remove them. Okay, fabric is derived from responsibly sourced wood-based materials. Let me see if I can, see if I can show you this material. Kind of reminds me of, is it Tencel? Kind of reminds me of that. And I think Tencel maybe is from a pulp. What am I thinking of? Maybe it's Tencel. Anyway, let me try these on. Did I tell you what size I got? I got size 10 in these. Let me try these on. Okay, I'm glad I got the 10 because I think they fit really well. What is this? Oh, this is the tag <laughs> on the inside. But here are the pockets and they are meant to be cropped. So they're just, they're kind of like high waters on me, but that's okay. As long as I don't have to like, shorten them because I'm not going to spend the time or money to shorten like casual athletic wear. And then it has this little drawstring here. Neat, neat. It's just a flat front. It is really comfortable. Wow. <laughs> this material is really, um, yeah, it's like really soft. It's springy. It's not just like stretchy and I feel like it's going to just like stretch out. No, it's like springy. It like comes right back. Oh, all right gonna keep these and what else did I get oh I got the same tights as those other ones in that fun color I got them in black so I'm not gonna bother trying those on and then I got two zip ups zip up hoodies so I got the size medium large I think it was small medium medium large and then maybe large extra large and they're the scuba oversized full zip so I got one in black and one in this color. M-O-V-T, I think is the color. Let's try on the lighter one because the black, you won't see anything. Ooh, I like this. So slightly cropped, very boxy. And I actually don't like 
the Lululemon scuba zip up hoodies, like the originals, I just find them to be like to scuba, like you're like completely sucked in. It's not like this really kind of comfortable. I don't find them comfortable. Obviously some people love them because I think it's a very popular item for them, but it's like, it's thick and it's stiff and it's tight. Actually, my friend, Jen, my yoga guru, Jen, she loves those. She's always looking for them every time we go shopping. Um, and I'm like, I can't, I'm like, it's too much for like a sweatshirt. I feel like it's, it's like so intense. <laughs> So this is nice. I'm glad that they came out with this style. It's much like looser and comfier. It's, it's great. It's great. I love this. Okay. Definitely keeping this. Definitely going to be keeping the black. I'm going to be keeping everything. This t-shirt is great. I think what I'm going to do is get more of these t-shirts. I only ordered one because I was like, I don't, I don't know about the t-shirt sizes. I'm like a little bit better informed about their tights sizes. Um, than the t-shirt sizes at Lululemon. So I wasn't sure if 10 was going to be too small. Anyway, I like the size 10. So I think I'll order more of these. Yep. So slowly starting to replace some of the things that are just a wee bit too big for me. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to go out, go not go out. <laughs> definitely not going to have to go out. Um, I'm definitely going to have to go through my workout gear drawer and kind of get rid of some older stuff. Some things that just don't fit. Some things that are totally stretched out and donate those and everything. All right. Well, that's what I got, right? Lululemon, J. Crew, Lucifer. Oh my God, I'm still wearing it. <laughs> it's not the best. You probably see it really well on the black t-shirt. Oh, God, I love this so much. Love it. Well, I actually have some news to share with you guys. It's, it's not major. Let me just sit down though, because I've been standing all day. Actually, I'm just gonna, lay in my bed <laughs> since we're here in the bedroom. How's that? Wow, my tripod is actually standing on the bed. Wow, it's a little crooked, but that's okay. Ah, oh, what a day I've had. So, okay, wow, now that I'm sitting down, these Lululemon, these crop pants that I have on, so comfortable, so, so comfortable. I'm like, do they have other colors? I may have to look and get some other colors. Let me, let me shut up and focus. Let me focus. What was I going to tell you? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Brain fog is real. So my friend, Julie, whom you guys have seen on my vlogs many times, I think maybe the last time you saw her was when I went to New York last May. We stayed at the Edition Hotel. We went walking around Madison Park. She's my super cool friend. I actually know her through knitting. She and I will generally meet up in New York City because she doesn't live there, but she goes there often. Obviously, I used to live there. And when I go back and visit, sometimes we'll try and like time our trips. She has been spending more and more time in Palm Springs. And I think the time before New York, I saw her in Palm Springs and vlogged that as well. So I think you guys uh, are well acquainted with Julie. We had those Care Bear onesies that we got at Target. Do you remember those? So anyway, she is back in Palm Springs. So I am gonna be driving out there to hang out with her for a few days. And I'm gonna be taking Butters with me. My husband is like beside himself. He was like, how can you take the dog? Cause he can't come, he has to work. And he's like, how can you take her? <laughs> I'm like, I think she needs a road trip and Julie, loves dogs, loves dogs and loves butters. So, and Palm Springs is like such a great place for dogs. So I was like, let me just take her on this road trip. So anyway, he's, he's a little distraught, but he's, he's going to let her go. So we're going on a little bit of a road trip, just butters and myself, which I've never done. And I have to tell you the last time we took a road trip with butters, I was with my husband and we went to Palm Springs and it was for that new year's. Um, it wasn't, uh, Julie wasn't there, but it was with my friends Matthew and Mark and their friends from Greenwood Lake and they rented houses in Palm Springs to celebrate New Year's. Anyway, so we went out there and that was the time, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I told you guys this, we were staying at a hotel and so we drive in, we pull in, it was valet, we get out, you know, Butters was great in the car the whole time, you know, she wasn't super antsy, she was, you know, she finally like fell asleep, she was a little alert in the beginning. But we got into the hotel and as we're checking in, in the lobby, she has like explosive diarrhea. <laughs> like explosive. And we were at the front desk and I, I was actually at the front desk. My husband was behind me with the dog and I just heard this like kerfuffle. 
and then I could smell and I was like, oh my God. And the hotel was so cool. We were at the Kipton Inn, by the way. They're amazing. Stay there if you have a dog. They were like, not a problem. Happens all the time. Like they literally didn't even blink. And we were like, I'm so sorry. Like my husband had like a few like tissues in his pocket. He was like trying to wipe it up. And they're like, sir, it's okay. We got this. They had like a whole cleaning crew come out. It was so nice. Even the other um, guests that were there, this one gentleman, he walked by, he was like, he's like, it happens to me all the time. (laughs) I was like, oh my God. I was mortified, mortified. Anyway, we finally finished checking in. We walk over to the elevators. She does it again. So the woman who had just finished cleaning up the lobby was like rolling her cart away. And she was like, oh, again? And she like came over and cleaned it up. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. So anyway, I have to make sure that when we get to Palm Springs that I walk her and that that does not happen again. I'm not exactly sure why she had the diarrhea. I don't know if it was nerves. I don't know if she had eaten something beforehand that was not good. Um, As we know, Butters has had a sensitive tummy. It has gotten a lot better over, I want to say the past six months, like a lot better. So wish me luck, (laughs) but it should be fine. It should be fine. And as you guys know, I had a dog before Butters when we were in New York City who had a rough last few years of her life. She just was, she was very sick and uh, she was a pug. Her name was Brigitte, but we called her PBPF, peanut butter pumpkin face. That's just what we ended up calling her, which is why we named Miss Fuzzy Butters, Miss Fuzzy Butters. Cause I'm like, we're just going to end up calling them their nickname. So I was like, let's just come up with a nickname. That's going to be their name. So anyway, she had um, epilepsy. So I wanted to take her on like kind of, I knew her days were numbered. So I kind of wanted to take her on like a last road trip. And at that time I had a friend, well, I still have this friend, but at that time she had a home in Maine and uh, we used to drive up there. I was going to say all the time, not all the time. Every so often we would drive up there from New York. It's a bit of a ride. It would be like It's shorter than you think, but it's, it's a pretty long drive. I would say somewhere between like eight or nine hours to get to Portland, Maine from where we were. And I thought, whatever, I'll just, we were in no rush. We had no schedule. I was like, you know, Brigitte will just stop often. And I remember going to the vet uh, because of her epilepsy. Every once in a while, I'd have to take her into the vet. Like if she would have a seizure, I'd have to take her in and she'd have to get Valium. So I'm at the vet, I'm getting her checked out. I'm asking the vet all the questions, which, you know, any advice for the road trip, you know, all the stuff. And I was like, now what, what, is there any way you can give me Valium <laughs> to give to her in case anything happens? And she said, sure. Um, she's like, would you like the nasal or the anal suppository? And I just looked at her and I was like, does anyone choose the anal? And she was like, no. It's like, okay, I'll take the nasal. So the nasal was like a nasal spray. So I got that. Anyway, the trip was fine. (laughs) It was fine. She also had, my God, did she have diarrhea in the back of the car? I think on the way back, on the way back in Massachusetts, I had to pull over because she had violent diarrhea in the back of the car. Thankfully, I had all of these blankies down and comforters. I wanted to make her real comfortable. So the car was fine, thank God. But like the, all the comfort, I had to throw out every single last blanket and comforter that I brought. Oh my God. It was like such a disaster. And she was kind of covered in it. I had, to, I had all of these like wipes. I probably used them all up, just kind of like wiping her down. But by the time we got home, she was kind of crusty. Oh my God. My poor husband was like, what happened? I was like, don't ask, don't ask. She was a very anxious dog. So please wish me luck on this road trip to Palm Springs. I will definitely be vlogging. I don't know how much of the actual road trip I'll be vlogging because it's just going to be me and Butters in, in riding shotguns. So 
uh, we'll be doing that. But um, yeah, I just want to share that with you guys because I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go to Palm Springs. I really like it there. It's a fun little, fun little town. I'm so excited to see my friend Julie. Oh my God, I didn't tell you half of it. So on the way home, we were trying to figure out which week worked best. So I was like, how about this week? Because yeah, I have some other things coming up and then I'm traveling in April and then I'm traveling in May. Anyway, so she, Julie was actually planning to be in Vegas at the end of this week for the, over the weekend and had invited me to, you know, go out. I think we're going to go see Kylie. I'm not sure if I'm still involved in those plans because I was filling in for a friend who I don't think can make it, but maybe she can now. I don't know. I have to check with Julie anyway. So what's going to happen at the end of this week in Palm Springs is we're going to be driving back with Julie. <laughs> so Fingers crossed it's going to be all okay with butters. So yeah, so Julie will be making the the road trip back with us. Sorry, this eye just got really dry. I got my allergies. Really, really dry. So she'll be making the trip back with us. And then I think I may be going to see Kylie Minogue. I don't know. I don't know yet, but I'll keep you guys informed. But yeah, Palm Springs is going to be fun. Like I said, I'll vlog it, but I think she's already made a couple dinner reservations, which I'm really excited for. We're definitely going to be hitting the outlets. There's like a little street fair that's going to be going on. We're going to be getting massages. Actually, she's going to be getting a facial. I'm getting a massage. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So that is coming up in a couple of days. So I'm going to be packing and stuff. I don't know if it's all going to be in this vlog. Not not Palm Springs, but like the packing or whatever. Yeah, because I'm not leaving for a couple days. So anyway, I should probably go down and heat up some dinner. My husband's actually busy working in his office, so I'm gonna just do my own thing. So I'm just gonna heat up some dinner and then go to bed. <laughs> Cause that's how early I go to bed. All right, guys, I will see you in the morning. Good morning. I uh, just got back from the gym. I showered, I'm feeling good about myself. <laughs> I have some PR packages I thought I would open up with you guys as I sip my coffee here. I wanna make sure my microphone, I almost said microwave. I wanna make sure my microphone behaves. Sometimes it moves while I'm filming and then we have like that. There, that's better, okay. All right, so I've got some PR packages. Some of these look real exciting. Like this one from Christian Dior. What, what is going on? Well, there's a big, God, very heavy, bag in here and let me move the box what is in here oh my goodness oh wow oh my god look at this case it's lipsticks holy smokes that is gorgeous look at the canage print on top let's see what this says renovating rouge dior is always an exciting challenge because how can you top an already excellent product and we did it again this new launch carries a rich and diverse range of 70 shades in satin and velvet finishes ah these must be the five that they sent over let's take a look at the shades that they sent this is really gorgeous it's stunning it's absolutely stunning. Oh, they sent six. Why did I think five? Okay, six, I can't count. All right, I swatched all six of the shades here. The first two is 999, one is matte, one is satin, and then we have 100 in a matte, and then this shade is 720 in a satin, and then this one is 772 in matte, and then this last one is 888 which is like an orangey red versus the 999, which is like a red with a little blue. This has a little yellow in it and that's a satin. So just to be clear, their matte shades are called velvet shades. I was just calling them matte. Oh, I'm sorry, this, let me make sure. Okay, this last one is 888. This one is also a velvet. I said it was a satin, I'm sorry. This is also a velvet. And then here's just a close look at the packaging. Very simple and then a peak of the canage print on top. Lovely. Oh, thank you so, so much, Dior. This is so gorgeous. I love this. It's like a jewelry box. I can take all the lipsticks out and use this as like a little jewelry box. Just gorgeous. Thank you. And then I did get a box from NARS that I opened because I don't know, I was just curious what it was. I couldn't wait, I could not wait. They actually included a five minute journal, which is so cool. It actually has prompts in there. So I love that. I'm definitely gonna 
take a look at that, play around with that. So they sent over their light reflecting foundation, which is one of my favorites, and their radiant creamy concealer. And unfortunately, one of the light reflecting foundations exploded, but they so smartly packed them in these little bubble envelopes. So I can just throw that away, unfortunately. But they sent over, let's see, shades Gobi, which is L3, I think, if my eyes don't deceive me. And then they also sent over shade Fiji. Here is Fiji, which is much deeper actually than Gobi. Maybe the one that exploded, Deauville. Deauville actually, I think is my shade, <laughs> unfortunately. And I think it's between these two. But anyway, this is Gobi, this is Fiji. So they sent those over, thank you so much, NARS. And then they also sent over the Radiant Creamy Concealer in uh, Light 2.2 Nougatine and Light 2.75 Canel. And if I recall correctly, I am one of these. This one is Nougatine. I think that's a pretty good match. And then here is Canel, which is a little bit deeper. But anyway, thank you so, so much, Nars, for the re-up. And then, ah, I got something from Amora Vitsa, which is very exciting. You guys know how much I love their Queen of Hungary mist. It's such a good face mist. Please find and close our latest launch, the Queen Serum. Ooh, oh wow, they actually sent two things. What have we got here? The Queen Essence and the Queen Serum. Let's see, Superpower Formulation is clinically proven to decrease wrinkle depth whilst visibly firming, sorry, can't, reading is hard today, firming skin using a cocktail of actives. I'm absolutely obsessed. Uh, apply after the queen essence to boost the efficacy of your skincare routine. Okay, so the essence first and then the serum. So here is, whoops, here is the essence. 100 ml bottle, and then here is the serum. Oh, that's such a pretty pink. Ooh, this is so awesome. Thank you so much, Amora Pizza. All right, and I got a couple of boxes from Smashbox. Smashbox presents the original Smooth and Blur Primer, the original Photo Finish, the Icon. Hold on, I can't get it out of the box. Let me just hold it up. <laughs> It's what's in the middle. And then, let's see, the eyes. Super Fan Mascara, Always Sharp Waterproof Coal Liner, and then the Always On Liquid Lipstick with their lip liner. Wow, thank you so much, Smashbox. I'm gonna try and take out this primer. I'm gonna use it in like a trying makeup video. There we go. <laughs> the photo finish primer. And then here is the second box from Smashbox. I was actually lucky enough to go visit them when I went to LA last October, and they have the coolest offices, the absolute coolest offices and the coolest people that work there. It was just such a fun visit to see like their studio and everything. It was just really awesome. More of their original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. It's like in this shadow box. Ah, oh, okay. So this slides open and then it's the same products. Oh, but with a little camera at the bottom. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you. Thank you so much, Smashbox. I hope I can visit you guys again the next time I'm in LA. Okay, something from T3. Exciting. I think, did they come out with a new tool? I don't know if this is what they sent, but I think they came out with a new, is it a new like curling iron? This is it, wow. So as I understand it, this comes in three different sizes. So this is the single pass curl and they sent the 1.25 over. I know there's a 1.5. I'm trying to think, is the smaller size a one or do they have a 1.75? I'm not sure, but they have three sizes. I think this is the one in the middle. And apparently the coating is even smoother and the clip design is, uh, has more like glide to it. Oh, and it's longer. So if you have longer hair, it makes it easier. You don't have to do it in like two parts. Ah, oh, awesome. Thank you so, so much T3. I'm excited to try this. And then I got a couple of boxes from Pharmacy. Get to know Pharmacy's best sellers. I'm a big fan of their green clean. I've gone through many tubs of that. Ah, speaking of, here's green clean. 
and then they sent over their um, Honey Halo, their Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. I'm familiar with their Honey Mask, but not that moisturizer. I'll have to try that. This is the Wake Up Honey Vitamin C. I think, is this an eye cream? Yeah, Wake Up Honey Eye Cream. And then the Brighten Up 3% TXA Dark Spot Toner with Azelaic Acid and PHA. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Pharmacy. Actually, let me open up your second box here. Ah, stickers. Hey. And then, ah, oh, this is what they sent me in my, if you caught my last PR haul. The Honey Vanilla Lip Smoothie. It's a lip balm which actually I've been keeping at my vanity and I've been using it. It's very nice. It's very, very nice. And then if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is like a little, or a big sippy cup. It's got this like flexi straw and then the lip balm is inside. I have this like fun sippy cup. How cool is that? Thank you so much pharmacy. And then I got something from Tula Skincare. I used Tula a while ago and I really liked their stuff. I don't know if they were new then or what the deal was, but I really enjoyed their stuff. I've just, you know, constantly trying new stuff out, so I haven't gotten back to them. But, yeah, I remember enjoying it very much. They sent over their Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. I'm pretty sure this is the product <laughs> that I used from Tula. Yeah, and then Clean and Effective Hydrating Day and Night Cream. How amazing. Thank you, Tula. I cannot wait to revisit your cleanser. Thank you so much. And then I got this Everybody Campaign Box mailer. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's from Say Beauty. Oh, awesome. Oh yeah, powered by, <laughs> duh, powered by Say. And the Everybody Campaign is the largest beauty industry-backed reproductive justice initiative in history. Join us in the fight for more just future at everybodycampaign.com. Hashtag beauty for rights. Oh, this is fantastic. The Everybody Campaign. So this Everybody Campaign, all the funds go to Sister Song. Formed in 1997 by 16 organizations of women of color, the Sister Song Women of Color Reproductive Justice Collective is the largest multi-ethnic reproductive justice collective in the nation. Oh, that's great. Wow, look at all these participating bands. That is fantastic. Oh, this is so great. So, so great. Thank you so much, Say, for doing this. And what they sent over is, oh wow, look at this. It's like a little library card. <laughs> the Everybody Library, curated by Seeing Library, theme reproductive justice. The Turnaway Study, 10 years, a thousand women, and the consequences of having or being denied an abortion. I think it doesn't matter which side you're on. This is probably a very interesting read for everyone by Diana Green Foster. Oh, this is great. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, Say. This is wonderful. All right. And then this is actually an order I placed myself from Orbe. They were having a sale. This is like months ago. This box has just been sitting there and I am running low on my favorite Orbe shampoo. So I was like, let me just open this up now, finally. But yeah, they were having a sale, it's just like last, last year sometime, it was like before Thanksgiving. And I thought, oh, let me just stock up on my favorites. And I didn't need to open them just yet, but now I do. Okay, so, oh, I actually more, ordered more than I thought. I got the shampoo for Magnificent Volume, I got two. And then two of the conditioners. Wow, I really did stock up. Two of the conditioners. And then I got the swept up volume powder spray. This I've never tried before, but I thought I would give it a whirl. I could always use a little bit more volume. And then I got, uh, oh, some of the super fine strong hairspray, which I do like to use, especially when I wear my hair back like that. So I got one of those. And then it looks like they sent the dry, dry texturizing spray and the super fine hairspray um, in these travel sizes. Oh, that's great. Okay, I'm glad I finally opened that up. And then continuing on with some PR, this is, oh, this is actually something from Dolce Vita. So I got some shoes from them. These are the style Dolan 
and I got them in the color black and natural. Oh yeah, so I thought I would get these because these reminded me of a pair of Chloe sneakers that I was really interested in getting. But they had a similar like knit upper and then this really interesting stitching. Very, very similar. Oh, I can't wait to try these. Aren't these fun? Can't wait to try these. Thank you so much, Dolce Vita. And 39 should be the right size. I know I've been having some issues with with shoe sizing, but when it comes to like sneakers and boots, I'm generally a 39. I'm not, that has not changed much, but I will try these on later. Oh, these are so cute, I love them. And then AYR sent me a couple things as well. They asked me, you know, what size, et cetera, et cetera. So let's see what I got here. So this is the brand. AYR. And it looks like, oh, it looks like I got a shirt very similar to the one I'm wearing. I am pretty consistent. So this is the Deep End Indigo Oxford. And I got the size large. Oh, cute. Oh, I love that. I'm gonna wear this all the time, you guys know. Oh, it even has like a little tab here, a little hook. Oh, that's wonderful. This is really soft. Like the Oxford that I have on is a little bit stiffer. This is the one from Everlane. This is the boxy shirt. This one feels like a little worn. Oh, I love that. Ooh, that's wonderful. I've never tried anything from this brand, so I'm so excited. And then I got this t-shirt. This is the early mornings tee in the color asphalt, which I believe is a fancy name for black, or like a worn black. Ooh, fun, 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 fun. This is definitely something I'll be wearing a lot as well. I love a good long sleeve tee. And this also has like a really nice hand to it. It's soft, but the uh, fabric has a lot of substance to it still. Oh, that's very nice. I'm saying AYR, is it air? <laughs> I've always looked at this because I've gotten catalogs from this brand and I've always just said AYR, is it air? Oh my God, correct me down below. I'm so embarrassed now. I think it could be air. I got this in size large. Again, this is the brand. Let me just show it to you instead of slaughtering its poor name. Wow, so awesome. Thank you so much. Can't wait to wear those. And then last but not least, you guys, what is this? I needed the box that it came in. I needed a big box. I was sending my friend something and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna open it until I open it with you guys. So. Let's see what's in here. Oh, pet teasers is so cute. Oh, thank God. This is so adorable. Look at this. Look at this. So here is the pet teaser, de-shedding and dog grooming brush. Oh my God. Stop it. And then soft and chewy pumpkin and spice dog treats. Oh my God. I give butters pumpkin treats. So this is perfect. And oh, this is like a little, like a little bandana. <laughs> and then I believe this is for me, <laughs> detangling hairbrush. Less breakage for smooth and healthy looking hair. Tangle Teaser. Oh, I love that so, so much. Thank you so much, Tangle Teaser. I cannot wait to get this all over Butters. She's gonna love it too, because she loves being like scratched for heavy shedding and long haired, small dogs. She's neither of those, but I don't, I don't care. She's just going to love this. She's going to love this. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Well, that is it for my PR haul and I'm going to run a couple errands and then, oh, I'm meeting Lori Hill for lunch. Maybe I'll bring you guys along. Uh, we're just going to grab some sushi and then I need to get ready for Palm Springs. I'm gonna be picking up Butters from school today. We kind of changed up her schedule since we're gonna be away the rest of the week. Um, or I'm, yeah, we are gonna be away the rest of the week, not my husband, but Butters and myself. And then um, I need to figure out like what I'm bringing for her. I'm gonna bring her a crate. I'm gonna bring this gate that I can just kind of lean up against like a hallway opening if I need to. I'll bring that just in case. Traveling in a car really makes packing a lot easier. So I'm not even gonna worry about what I'm packing for myself. I'll probably just so throw some things in a bag uh, the morning I leave. And then, yeah, I have to figure out like her food, her food bowls, any supplements, toys, 
all those sorts of things. Anything she may need for the car ride. Uh, a lot of blankies. She needs her blankies. So I'm going to be doing that later. So I'm going to run a couple errands, but we're going to meet Lori Hill for some sushi. Just had that lovely lunch with Lori. I didn't wanna, we were like kind of talking, so I didn't wanna just like shove the camera in her face, but I took those shots of what we ordered for uh, lunch. I'm stuffed, I'm stuffed. I ordered an extra roll at the end because I was still hungry, but it was too much. Anyway, um, I thought I would get packing a little bit before I have to go pick up butters from school because I'm gonna be working out with uh, Julie and her trainer out in Palm Springs. And what else are we doing? We're going to a spa. She has a pool at the house she's staying at, so I should bring a swimsuit. I don't, I, they should be fine. They should be fine. I was gonna say, I don't know if they'll fit, but they should be fine. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just a little bit more involved packing than I had originally thought. So I think I should get started. You guys have watched me pack a gazillion times, so I'm not gonna bore you with this, but I will show you at the end, I guess, everything that I'm bringing. Oh, but before I let you go, I am wearing those Dolce Vita sneakers, the ones that look like the Chloe sneakers. And I love them. They're so comfortable. I'm not even wearing socks with them because I just put them on um, while I was downstairs. And they're great. They give me a little bit of height, which is always nice. They're super breathable. I don't feel like my feet are super sweaty in there or anything. And they're really comfy. They're like squishy which is really nice. Okay, so these are my piles. I've got my swimsuit and my workout clothing. I've got my cozy outfit to hang out in the home. And then I have, <laughs> this is too much, but I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna feel like wearing. Um, I've got a hoodie. I've got my Prada windbreaker, that cropped one that I just got, my Celine Anorak and my Prada hoodie. Um, this I think may be a little bit too heavy, but this may come in handy in the evenings. And then I have a black t-shirt. I have my Louis Vuitton sweater because Julie and I have the same one. So I'm just gonna bring it in case we wanna be like idiots and wear them on the same day. We like doing stupid shit like that. So, okay, that, a white button down and my Loewe jeans. And then I'm definitely gonna be wearing my rag and bone sweatpant jeans uh, for the drive out there. And I think I'm just gonna wear this puffer vest Maybe I'll wear my new air long sleeve t-shirt underneath the puffer vest with the rag and bone jeans for the drive out there. I think that'll be comfortable. I think that's it. I think I'm gonna bring my Celine sneakers, my workout sneakers, and then like a pair of, am I gonna bring a pair of flats? Oh, maybe I'll bring a pair of flats cause I can wear them with my rag and bone. I was just thinking my Loewe jeans are pretty long, so I can only wear them with like sneakers that have uh, like a pretty thick sole to them, not flats. Otherwise they drag on the ground. I haven't had the heart to cut them, but I may do that. I may just have to do that. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much set. And, oh my God, what time is it? Oh, I gotta go pick up butters. Okay, let's go, let's go pick up our little girl. Hi baby, how was school? She just got groomed, so they give her a little cute little collar. Huh? You ready to go home and pack? You ready to go home and pack for a big trip? Huh, baby? Do you want the seat warmer on? She's always cold. Let me turn on your seat warmer. Hmm? Hmm? All right, let's go home. Let's go home. Yeah.